The law of assumption changes everything. So I want you to just take a second and think about your dream life. Think about you waking up one morning next to the love of your life in your dream home, in your dream location. You walk into the bathroom, you look in the mirror, and the person that you see is someone that you're proud of, someone that you unconditionally love, someone that your entire life you had been praying and hoping you'd become. You're getting ready to possibly go to the dream career that you've always wanted, or you're on the dream vacation that you've always wanted to go on to. The possibilities are endless, but it can all be yours if that is what you want. You see, the thing that a lot of us, our entire lives, think that what we want or what we really desire is out of our reach. That it is something that only people can dream or hope about, but not anymore. The law of assumption has taught all of us that if we want something, if we desire something, that we can obtain it as long as we believe that it is already ours. So bringing this back to the basics of what is the law of assumption? For those of you that are new to my channel and you haven't heard me speak about this yet or you've never heard what the law of assumption is, the law of assumption is stating that whatever a person seems, believes, and deems as their reality is what will come to pass. Which means that the state of your thinking and your mind can control your entire reality in the 3D world for what you see in front of you. As long as you can see in your mind that what you desire is already yours, it will have to come to pass. The law of assumption was introduced many, many years ago, over a hundred years ago at this point. And it was introduced by Neville Goddard. If you haven't heard about him, I have a whole other video on him because he alone deserves his own recognition. But this law of assumption has been in play for over a hundred years, yet so many of us have never heard about it. Yet millions of people, millions, have absolutely reached their dream life and desired state by practicing the law of assumption. And in just a little bit, I'm gonna give you a few exercises that will absolutely help you start really getting yourself into the energy and how to really practice the law of assumption. But before I do that, I wanna just give you a little story about myself so you can understand how powerful all of these things are, all of these manifesting techniques really are that I share. And the law of assumption is the number one manifestation technique that I use and that I tell all of my clients and that I speak about in my courses, in my mentoring memberships, in my communities, in literally everywhere. Because this is where you really create your desired life, in your imagination, in assuming that the things of what you want are yours. So several years ago, I was obese, I was depressed, I was in a career that I did not want to be in, I was with a lover that was unfaithful, I was unhappy with myself, I was addicted to drugs, alcohol, food, shopping, any distraction that can just keep me from not going within and with being with myself and feeling anything. And it wasn't until I really started digging inwards and I also started doing a lot of research is when my life changed. If you know any of my other videos, I am very, very big into self-concept work, but self-concept at the end of the day is still hand in hand with the law of assumption because you are assuming the person that you want to be. You are assuming the self 
that you want to become and that you are becoming. So once I started really doing the research, digging deep, working on my self-concept, assuming with the law of assumption, assuming with it, I was living within it, I was consumed in it, is when everything in my life changed. I now travel throughout the entire world, wherever I'd like, with my little Yorkie Poo Cleopatra. I've lived in the Mexican Caribbean. I, right now, am in Greece. I was just island hopping for over three months, and I am now in my apartment in Athens. It's a rooftop apartment. I have a rooftop area that I can sit out on and look at all of Athens, Greece. More travel plans coming up. And the life that I'm living right now is something that myself, that was obese, depressed, and addicted to so many things years ago, would have never believed I'd be able to get to. And here I am. That is why I literally believe in this stuff so much and why I started making all of this content. Because I have so many people that reach out to me. If you follow me at all, you will know that I also have travel YouTube channels where I document a lot of my traveling and people always message me on my Instagram. How do you do this? How did you get to your life, your life to this point? And how do you sustain it? And all of it comes back and circles back to my self-concept work and the law of assumption and me believing and knowing that all of this that I want already exists. It's already mine. How can you start as a simple new beginner, as someone who's never really heard of the law of assumption, or maybe you've heard a little bit, but you haven't done much research or digging since? The first thing is getting very, very honest with yourself about what you want and what your dream life looks like. For myself, I knew I wanted freedom. I didn't want the constraints of society. I knew I wanted to travel. I knew I wanted to live my own life. I wanted to have my own businesses. I wanted wealth, riches, money, self-confidence, power, love. Literally, I wanted it all. And once I was not afraid to admit all those things to myself. And I really honed in on what I wanted. That is when I started and I assumed every single day that that is my life and that that is what I already have and it's coming to fruition. I journaled. Journaling is the biggest thing, putting it out there, being able to review it, going back to it. That is also what helped me and what will help you. Thirdly, working on your self-concept. Now, as I said, I firmly believe that self-concept work goes hand in hand with the law of assumption. You have to be able to work on your self-concept to be able to really understand and believe what the law of assumption is and how to really shed old patterns and beliefs to be able to really use the law of assumption effectively in your life. Now I have mentoring courses and everything else, like I said to you, you can find those in the video description down below. But if you do not feel that you want to work with someone specifically, then just start doing your own research. I did it for years and I am finally where I want to be. So it can definitely help you. But if you want to skyrocket through all of that, definitely check the links in the video description down below. But the third thing you need to do is start working on that self-concept, believing that you are worthy of everything. And then lastly, is living as if it is your reality. This can be a lot of different things and techniques for a lot of people. I go through a lot of it in my courses, and I also go through a lot of it in my community where I'm giving weekly exercises to everybody on how to really refine these skills. But you need to find something that works for you, whether it's journaling more, whether it's meditating, visualizations, but all of those, especially visualizations, is what is going to help you with the law of assumption and really be able to live in your wish already fulfilled. It is living in the end. And once you assume that it is already yours, 
and you already have it and you live from within that place, there is nothing more that you need to do besides work on yourself and be ready to receive it. So I really hope that this video was helpful. Please subscribe down below. Find me on Instagram if you have any questions or comment down below if you have any questions. I literally answer everybody.